Roloff family car accident rumors what happened to Tori, Zatch, and Amy Roloff? Hello dear beautiful and wonderful viewers. Welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. Never miss this video. A devastating rumor sweeping social media about a car accident involving some members of the Roloff family. Tori, Zatch, and Amy of Little People Big World fame has the internet in a furor. The rumor, originating from Facebook and appearing to be untrue, claims in different articles that Tori Roloff and Amy Roloff were in a car accident. The post for Amy from the Facebook page The Roloff Family Fandom claims she passed away while that for Tori. From the page Community TLC fans claims she was hospitalized after the accident with Zach. As far as we can tell there's zero truth to these rumors and appear to be attempts by hacker. Scammers to carry out some phishing or other attacks on social media users who click their dangerous links to read their fake stories thankfully, even social media users wasted no time in shutting down the articles with comments such as, stop with the lies no one wants to hear your clickbait false news. SM had other comments said, you need to stop his, no one wants to hear lies, another user noted this was about. The third time the Roloff family fandom page had tried killing off Amy, calling the admin a joke. If you're a fan of Little People Big World, there's no need to fret because these stories are simply phishing attempts wrapped in fake news to get interested fans to click. Buyer beware. While Tori Zatch or Amy Roloff have not been involved in any car accident, irrespective of what reports claim, the former two actually had an incident recently which injured their daughter. In July, their daughter Lila had a scary accident in a pool that injured her eye. When it rains, it pours. Lila had a little accident in the pool yesterday. I'm so glad she's okay. She split her eye pretty good, but luckily stitches weren't needed. But I think she's going to have a solid scar. Tori wrote on social media on Monday, July 15, despite the scary nature of the injury Lila looked to have. Come out of it relatively unscathed and even looked stoked to take a photo for the camera. In a post via her Instagram stories, Leela thanked everyone for their well wishes and prayers. Thank you for your continued prayers and sweet notes, she wrote. Tori and Zach of the famous TV family have two other children besides Leela Jackson and Josiah. Little people, big world. Amy Roloff's car broken into fears identity Amy is mad as a result of her automotive was damaged into the primary time in a really very long time, she forgot to lock the automotive doorways. Though she is glad that there was no injury to her automotive. However, she nonetheless feels violated. It was a scary incident for her to cope with, and it was additionally very upsetting for her. Amy thinks that if somebody is breaking into individuals' vehicles, they need to be somewhat extra productive. Little people, big world. Karen just sold her house. Did she pressure Matt into getting engaged? Little People Big World star Matt Roloff might have been pressured to propose to Karen Chandler after her recent comments and decisions. Since splitting from his ex-wife Amy Roloff, Matt has been in a relationship with Karen, who was a longtime employee at the Roloff Farms and managed the pumpkin patch before she became Matt's assistant. There were rumors the duo were having an affair before Matt's marriage to Amy crashed. Although both Matt and Karen deny it, it hasn't helped Karen's relationship with the Roloff kids, who haven't accepted her as part of the family. Nonetheless, in 2023, Matt and Karen announced their engagement with plans to get married in 2024. After six years of dating the pair, Matt popped the question in their backyard in Arizona. However, specific trends have shown that all might not be well with their wedding plans. First, Karen refused to live on the Roloff farms to avoid being reminded of Amy, and she wouldn't agree to have her wedding on the farm. Also, Matt's statement about his feelings towards getting married again and Karen's hurried moves suggest she might want the marriage more than Matt. After an episode of Little People Big World Season 25 showed Karen and Matt disagreeing over what their house should look like as they prepare for their wedding, Karen sold her. Oregon home for $529,000. The couple's living arrangements have raised eyebrows since they started dating seven years ago, with Karen living separately from Matt. Although Matt and Karen revealed their big wedding will be happening sometime in 2024, they have yet to pick a specific date, but that didn't stop. Karen from selling off her house, since she is about to become Mrs. Roloff. Meanwhile, 
After their recent spat during an episode of the show and previous comments about not being sure about their marriage plans, it's a bit suspicious that Karen has rushed off to sell her house after keeping it for the last seven years. Despite getting a house with the plans of moving in together, Karen should have at least waited till all of their plans came together before selling her old home. Also, Karen's son Connor lived in the apartment before it was sold after separating from his ex-girlfriend Ashley Washam. Despite the excitement about their engagement and the anticipation surrounding their wedding, Matt's shocking admission that he might not be totally on board with the idea of getting married again places a massive spotlight on his relationship with Karen. Matt, speaking to his friend Ty and his ex-wife Amy's husband, Chris Merrick, talked about how petrified he felt about getting married again. Although he doesn't see himself with anybody but Karen, Matt is concerned about how their relationship might change once they marry, noting, We both like it and have been married. But do we need to do that exactly? Matt's honest admission and skepticism called into question his decision to have proposed to Karen in the first place via people. Since announcing their marriage plans, the couple has shifted the potential date further down the year, which also questions their intentions and commitment to tying the knot. The couple's relationship. Arrangement has worked for the past seven years. After Matt's public admission, the idea of walking down the altar might not have entirely been his idea. After revealing his decision to leave the family's Oregon home to his ex-wife Amy, Matt and Karen enlisted the services of an interior designer to help decorate their new home. However, Karen and Matt's relocation plans didn't quite go as they expected, as evidenced by their Little People Big World Season 25, Episode 2 disagreement over what the interior of their new house should look like. Matt's idea of putting a large piece of barn wood in his office in the home was met with a comment of that's obnoxious by Karen. However, the most revealing moment was when Matt explained he want them to work together on their new home, to which Karen replied, I do look at it that way. We're not married. This is Matt's house that I happen to cohabitate in. Karen's statement about cohabiting in the house that belongs to Matt because they aren't married yet shows how desperately she wants it and how she is using every avenue to pressure Matt. Until it happens. Hopefully, Karen is doing this because she loves Matt, not because she is a gold digger, as some LPBV fans believe. Poor Roloff just shared a photo of a scary injury to her. Her Lila on Instagram. The Little People, Big World alum posted a picture on her Instagram story showing Lila wearing a butterfly bandager over a bloody mark above her left eye. She wrote, When it rains it pours. You can see the photos in this post by Lila had a little accident in the pool yesterday, Tori wrote in a follow. Up post explaining what had happened. It showed Lila sitting on a lawn chair, taking solace and snacks, while a couple of adults ministered her injury. I'm so glad she's okay. She split her eye pretty good, but luckily stitches weren't needed, but I think she's going to have a solid scar. So grateful for friends that helped Kibi calm, and got her chips which immediately calmed her down. There was a lot of blood, but they kept me calm to be able to manage it all. Layla is the middle child of Tori's family, along with 7-year-old Jackson. And 2-year-old Josiah. She and her husband Zachary Roloff began dating in 2011 and married in 2015 and they have been more active on the family's TLC show than their siblings. However, in February, Zach and Tori announced that they would not be participating in Little People, Big World after the current season ends. The show premiered in 2006 following parents Matt and Amy Roloff, both of whom have dwarfism and their four children, three of whom have dwarfism. The family lived on a 36-acre farm in a suburb of Portland, Oregon, but the show followed their journeys as the children grew up and as Matt and Amy divorced and pursued new relationships with other people. The idea was to education people about living with dwarfism though. It has also become a reality show depicting the personal lives of the family members. Thank you for watching the video. LPBU's Zach Roloff admits relationship with dad Matt is non-existent, Denise withholding his kids amid their feudest is settled, but like, nothing's been fixed or anything, Zach Roloff said of his relationship with his father and having to revisit old wounds as Little People, Big World airs on TLCN an episode of Zach and Tori Roloff's Raising Heights podcast on May 23, the father of 334, revealed that his relationship with the Roloff family patriarch, 62, was not great while answering fans' questions about their personal lives.
It's not like existent, I guess, Zatch said, looking down towards his feet. The filming ended, you kind of just give yourself some space and then the show airs six months later, and it kind of brings up some old wounds. Tori33 went on to explain that most viewers don't realize that episodes are usually filmed a year before. When the show airs a new season, the tense moments they experience are relived for a second time, even though the dust has actually settled on their differences. Dust is settled, but like, nothing's been fixed or anything, Zatch explained. Stuff comes out on social media and you realize that people are thinking the same thing and it's kind of a bummer because then it's like, oh I thought we were kind of evening out a little bit. Now that the drama has played out for a second time, Zatch claimed that the people involved are still in denial and they believe they didn't do anything wrong. It's a narcissism, so no, it's not great, he added. But I don't know more time might heal tensions between Zatch and Matt rose as the family considered the future of their farm and Matt listed a portion of his property that his son was interested in buying up for sale. Matt later decided against selling it, instead opting to turn it into a short-term vacation rental. The father-son duo have also butted heads over their familial relations and Matt's engagement, which has unfolded in front of TLC cameras. As Zatch updated fans on his relationship with Matt, Tori took the time to address misconceptions that the couple were withholding our children from spending quality time with their grandparents. There's none of that going on, like that's all just internet drama, she said, adding. But I think that adult relationships are very complicated, unfortunately, especially family. We're all just doing our best like, we're all trying. Tori suggested to which Zatch replied, are we though? That's what I guess challenge, like are we doing our best? Is the whole family doing their best? I don't think so sometimes. When asked if he was trying his best to repair the relationship, Zatch acknowledged there were times I could have done better when looking back. Describing his rift with his father as a toxic relationship that he's put up with for so long, Zatch confessed his biggest beef was when people outside the feud encourage him to come back together. Subscribe Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.